Hey peeps, it's Andrewcon. Today I'm going to show you how to make a whole bunch of awesome industrial craft equipment and armor, including uh, this here uh, mining drill, which is great for mining through dirt and rocks. Uh, this uh, chainsaw, which is wonderful for cutting down trees. A uh, electric hoe, <laughs> yeah, yeah. A tree tap, which is pretty awesome for uh, tapping these rubber trees here. This is an electric one. We also got rubber boots, which will uh, protect you from falling. A some uh, an en energy pack, which will charge up all your tools for you. And uh, a solar helmet and static boots, will, which will charge up your energy pack. Plus, we got this uh, nano saber, which is great for cutting down everything, pretty much. And also, of course, uh, this awesome armor I'm wearing here. Uh, this is a nano suit armor, and it protects against just about everything. It's sweet! Let's get started with the mining drill. You're going to need six iron ingots, six copper ingots, twelve rubber, four tin, four redstone. First thing to do is uh, throw your iron ingots in your furnace, and uh, turn them all into refined iron. Next, you're going to need to make a bunch of cables. You'll need uh, two sets of cables. So, pull out your cables. You'll need at least, you know, I think uh, seven of them actually. So you're going to have some extras. Then you need to make a uh, circuit. Just like so. There's your electronic circuit. Uh, next, you're going to need to make a uh, RE battery. Pull that out and throw it back in the bottom. Throw in your refined iron like so, electronic circuit in the middle, and you got a mining drill. Now this thing is pretty awesome. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just chuck this thing in uh, my MFE here. You can charge this thing in a uh, bat box, uh, MFE, or an MFSU. And uh, it holds a little bit of power. So let's go ahead and uh, take this thing mining. Yeah, here we are in my local mine. And uh, let's take this thing, uh, take this baby for a test drive. Oh, that thing's quite nice and quite fast. Wow, uh, I think that might just be about as fast as a diamond pickaxe. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Now, this thing can't mine through obsidian, but it can mine through everything else that an iron pickaxe can mine. So, uh, pretty much a nice replacement or chargeable iron pickaxe. Now, you can upgrade it with three diamonds. So, I'm going to take these three diamonds and uh, cover this up like so, and you get a diamond drill. Now, this is awesome. Super fast. Even mines this stuff faster than normal. So, normally this stuff is even a little bit slow, even with a diamond pickaxe. And it can mine obsidian. So I got a little bit of obsidian in the ceiling here. Come on, push. Push. Yep. And uh, I definitely recommend this thing. It is like the most awesome piece of equipment for uh, industrial craft. Well, in my opinion, at least, it's the most often used. Next thing up is a uh, chainsaw. Alright, you're going to need 6 refined iron, 3 copper, 6 rubber, 4 tin, and 4 redstone. Now this uh, pretty much has all the exact same components as the uh, uh, mining drill in it, but uh, you just kind of got to throw it in there a different way. So let's just go ahead and get all this stuff situated real quick. Need your copper cables, another RE battery, another electronic circuit. Just like so. And you throw in pretty much, you throw this thing in sideways, more or less. Kind of like that. And you get a chainsaw. Lumberjack Assassin. That is an interesting name for an achievement. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, this thing may not be quite so useful if you're using Tree Capitator, but uh, on some of these other trees that it doesn't really. Um, matter on because these things won't be cut down with tree capitator. I like these giant jungle trees, well it it works wonders. It's quite awesome. And bust sleeves and everything quite nicely. So 
You can cut down more than just trees with this thing. You can even cut down your neighbors. Thing is about as strong as a diamond sword. It's very nice. Also works great on zombies and zombie apocalypses. Next thing up, we're going to make an electric hoe. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, two refined iron, electric circuit, and electronic circuit, and a rebattery. Electric hoe. Woohoo! Wonder what the pimps think about that. <laughs> so, uh, well, this is pretty straightforward. Just hose the ground. <laughs> As if it could get any fancier. Jeez. Yep. That's some hoe in action for you. This next item could be rather useful if you do a lot with industrial craft. Uh, it's an electric tree tap. So, it takes a tree tap, a re battery, and an electric circuit. And you get your tree tap. It's a pretty nice device to have because the uh, default wooden tree tap is extremely flimsy. So, say you're down here doing a bit of digging or mining, or anything else you feel like doing with this thing. Because it uh, goes through dirt, just like a shovel. I think it's quite awesome. Or if you are uh, cutting down a whole bunch of trees or everything, and, well, your stuff runs out of energy. And it does that really quickly. For instance, I've only been digging with this thing for like three minutes. And it's about to uh, stop altogether. Well, there's something you can get. That will charge all these devices for you quite uh, quickly, simply, easily, pretty much as you use them. And uh, it just takes, well, a whole bunch of tin and stuff like that. Well, how much was this anyway? 25 tin, 6 copper wires, uh, insulated, 12 redstone, and uh, an electronic circuit. And no, not the marble. <laughs> All right, first thing you need to do is make a bunch of copper cables. Nope, uh, need to make a bunch of re-batteries, six of them actually. And you need an electronic circuit. And uh, throw these in here like that, I believe, and a piece of tin in the center. And you get a backpack, a uh, backpack, a backpack, bleh. Speak, can't speak. Anyway, this thing will store your energy for you, so you don't have to constantly run back to your base and recharge your stuff every two, three minutes. And, uh, let's see, I think this thing holds 60,000 units of energy? Probably something like that. So, you take your bat pack and throw it in uh, where your armor slot's usually at, and it just goes on your back, like so. Looks pretty nice, pretty fashionable. And uh, just go mining, digging, whatever you feel like doing. And it'll recharge your stuff. Now, if you didn't pay a whole lot of attention, this tool was completely empty just a moment ago. And uh, now it's completely filled up. Also, it took some energy out of the backpack. And uh, this will increase your mining time a good bit. You, you can probably get uh, 15 minutes out of it, maybe. Maybe. Now, if you know you're going to be out in the field for a while, there's a couple devices you can make that'll actually uh, extend, well, they'll pretty much recharge your bat pack for you. Now, the first one is static boots. You need a pair of iron boots, one wool, three copper cables on the bottom, and you get static boots. Uh, and this will charge uh, one unit of energy for every, well, I think it was one, one or three units of energy for every five blocks you walk. Pretty funny. Might make those carpets rather useful. Now, the second one is an iron helmet solar panel, and uh, three copper cables. This will give you a solar helmet. Now this thing probably looks hilarious <laughs> on my head. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these things on, take a look at myself. I uh, can't really see the top of it from here, but you can in the inventory. <sighs> looks a little bit cheesy. <laughs> and we're going to go walk around. Now the solar panel helmet uh, only charges up your um, tools or anything else, uh, your backpack, if you're within direct sunlight. So it's more useful if you, uh, you're out like chopping trees or something. Now the static boots work anywhere. On any surface, all you gotta do is walk. And it'll slowly charge up the backpack, but it's really slow. Now, since the old days when the backpack was the best there was, there's been an upgrade. Now this is basically going to be a lap, uh, lap pack, 
holds a whole lot more energy. Six, six uh, hundred. Now I think it holds three hundred thousand units of energy, and uh, it takes four redstone, two lapis, two glowstone dust, and uh, electronic circuit in the center. Center. This will give you an advanced circuit. And uh, let's see, you're also going to need your old back back here. Throw that in the center. And you're going to need six lapis blocks. There we go. That's a lap pack. This thing is insane, the quantity of energy it actually has stores in it. This is probably going to take a while. Uh, yep. That was about 300,000 units of energy. Oh my goodness. I'm probably never going to have to recharge this stuff ever again. And I've been mining for a while. I mean, I've even got a full inventory. I even had a creeper chainsaw massacre while I was at it. And we're still down only, uh, I'd have to say a third of that lap pack. That thing is lasting forever. There's one thing to keep in mind with the lap pack. You have to have an MFE or an MFSU to charge it up. It won't charge up in a bat box. And also, while I'm at it, Keep in mind, none of these tools will, uh, they're not, none of them are enchantable. Alright, next thing up is a nice pair of boots, basically. These are rubber boots. This is pretty much, uh, well, a mediocre replacement for feather falling boots, more or less. Uh, it reduces the amount of damage for, uh, falling. It does a fairly nice job. I can't say if it does quite as good as a, uh, feather falling or anything. It might. <laughs> it seems to work pretty nice. Uh, pretty much uh, you could live through oh, probably a 50 or 60 block drop as long as you had full health. You actually might be able to live through more like an 80 or 90 blo uh, block drop without any damage. Well, you'd get damage for sure, but you'd live through it anyway. And uh, they do wear down and they're not rechargeable, unfortunately. But uh, they are pretty nice to have. And now for the superior protection. We're gonna make some nano armor. Now, uh, these are the materi materials for each piece. This is the uh, materials for the uh, boots, the leggings, uh, the chest plate, and the helmet. So it takes a whole bunch of coal and coal dust. So uh, to get the coal dust, just throw it in your macerator. And uh, it'll take a little while to grind all that up. Well, it does that. I'm gonna go ahead and make up all the diamonds. Uh, these will be changed into energy crystals. Gonna need a bunch of uh, redstone for this. Just uh, spread these around like so. And uh, eh, four energy crystals. Well, is this thing done? Yes. Okay. Now to make uh, all the, uh, the rest of this mess. Uh, let's see, I got to go ahead and throw in all this like so. Uh, Alright, take all your coal dust, throw it in here in a square, uh, like that. And these will give you raw carbon fibers. You're going to need quite a few of these. I'm just going to go ahead and make up all of this. Alright, now I got 42 raw carbon fibers. Split the stack in two and uh, put it like that. And this will give you raw carbon meshes. You, need, you will need 21 for an entire set. And throw it into a compressor. If you got a regular compressor, it's going to take a while. Alright, got all my carbon plates crushed. And we're going to start on all the bits and pieces. Now, they all use carbon plates and energy crystals. So, throw in uh, carbon plates like so, energy crystal in the middle, and you get your nano suit boots. Then, let's see, next thing is leggings, I believe. Yep, just like so. And a chest plate. Uh, I don't quite remember how the chest plate went. I think it was something like this. Yeah, that's it. And a suit body armor. Alright, now for the helmet. I believe it goes like this. Now this one uses one piece of glass. And there's your helmet. Now, uh, all this stuff is basically chargeable armor. Uh, it's going to take a little while to charge all these things up. But uh, it'll be quite nice. Uh, you don't have to re waste resources on armor ever again, because this stuff will never break unless you decide to die in a fire. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't die in a fire. Hey, peeps. I'm looking pretty spiffy. 
It's like super soldier armor on or something. Anyway, according to the wiki, this thing can uh, withstand an explosion of a nuke uh, from about four spaces away. One, two, three, four. Kind of guess right about here. And uh, hopefully I can figure out how to set this thing off. Oh, that did it. Oh, crap. This thing's got a long fuse. <laughs> uh, will I live? Hmm. Come on. Explode! Jeez. Ouch. Yeah, I lived! <laughs> With full health! Wow! Now that's some armor. That's a nice hole, too. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah! This armor may be extra awesome. <laughs> Maybe you can't die in a fire. Sweet! Just stick a lava dip with this stuff on. Yeah, yeah! This is awesome. I love this armor. Ooh, windy up here. One last thing to test. To see if this thing will protect me from fall damage. Whee! Indeed it will! Sweet! That is awesome! Okay, one last object and then we're done. We're gonna make a, a nano saber. Now this thing uh, might be a little bit more involved. Six copper dust, two tin dust, three refined iron, three tin, sixteen coal dust, a diamond, uh, a redstone dust, and uh, two glowstone dust. Whew, that's a lot of stuff. All right, go ahead and make. Uh, you're gonna need some bronze, basically. Four bronze. Throw that stuff in your furnace. Well, you'll need three of them anyway. So you have some extra. You can always use it for something else later. Alright, chuck that in here uh, on the crafting table with uh, refined iron on the top, bronze in the center, tin on the bottom. This will give you uh, two mixed metal ingots. you got to throw this into a compressor. And uh, this will give you advanced alloy. Now, next up, uh, you got to make an energy crystal. Let's see, that takes your eight redstone and a diamond. And then you gotta make some uh, plates, pretty much. So, four redstone dust in there like that, and it'll give you a, uh, well, yeah, takes coal dust, <laughs> not redstone dust. This will give you raw carbon fibers, and you need four of those. Put those in there like that. This will give you raw carbon meshes, you need two of those. Uh, throw those into your compressor again, and this will give you, uh, two carbon plates. Let's see, what, uh, how does this go? I think your two alloys go like that, two glowstone like that, energy crystal on the bottom, and, yeah, carbon plates on the bottom, uh, right here. This will give you a nano saber. I've never actually bothered to make one of these before, and, uh, well, there's a specific reason why. Uh, when you turn this thing on, it flashes a good bit, and I didn't know if it would bother my eyes or not, so uh, we're going to find out. Alright, I got this thing charged up, and it doesn't really do much if uh, it's not turned on. To turn it on, uh, right-click, and uh, it'll start flashing away. Hopefully this doesn't induce any seizures. Yeah, I don't know if I'll use it much. <laughs> So, uh, it deals, uh, 8 hearts of damage, and, uh, 12.5 if you manage to land a critical. So, well, bunny is just not exactly <laughs> overkill, I'll say. <laughs> overkill on a bunny, jeez. Now, let's see if I can find anything worthy of, uh, slicey dicey. Oi, cranky, I see a creeper. Let's shove this up his bottle. Oh, one hit, sweet. <laughs> Now, I don't think this thing will do hardly anything if uh, it's not turned on. Um, I think there's a ghost around here. Yeah, there you are. Now, let's see if this does anything. Not really a whole lot, and it's not turned on. Come back here, you. And it's burning in the daylight. Let's see if we can find something else. Now, this thing uses power only when it's turned on, I believe. Uh, I don't know if hitting it causes anything else, but... Uh, ooh. Pretty much one hit kill on just about anything. Uh, also, the wiki said that uh, if you're on a multiplayer server with this thing, uh, this is the one item that you can use to kill somebody with a nano suit armor on. Uh, it works quite nice. 
Well, that's about it for today. Join me next time. We'll have some fun. I'll see you later.